I'm Carl Rowland with Sherline Products. In this video, we're going to show you how to put the limit switches on your ball screw lathe, on your cross slide, and your Z axis. So, first thing is you've got your mount bracket that we just put on the side here. There's two uh, screws that go right into the side. And just a 3 30 seconds Allen wrench. And this only goes on one way, so it's pretty easy to figure out. All right. Next, we put our limit switch on. Okay, on this one, it has two uh, 256 machine screws that. I use to mount the limit switch and you put it in this orientation right here. Uh, big fingers. Okay, and then I just use uh, Jewelers Phillips head screwdriver. Get one started and get the other one started. And they just need to be snug, it's not going anywhere, and you don't want to break the plastic housing on the limit switch. So right there is good, it's good snug. Then we have our, our trip dog. This has a hole in the middle, which is just for manufacturing process. You're going to put your screw in the hole that's towards the outside. It's an 832 screw and it goes right in this opening here. Right now we're just going to leave it loose so we can adjust it. All right, what you do then is you bring your cross slide in. You don't want to go all the way into the hard stop, but you want to get pretty close. And when you actually hook up your Masso, show my Masso controller. when you hook up the controller you'll be going with the signal when you push the ball arm in you can actually hear it click so that we're just going to go by the clicking sound right now so right now my axis is in as far as it will go so right there's the hard stop so I want to be about one revolution off of the hard stop. Now what I'll do is I'll bring my trip dog down and I'll move it until I hear the clicking sound. So right there's my click. I'm just gonna lock this guy in. Now when we home it out, we'll actually go in until it clicks and then back off one revolution. So that's my X, my cross slide is set. The next one I'm gonna do is the Z axis and there's a little bit more involved on the Z axis. The trip dog goes into this hole right here and this is a white nylon trip dog on this one and a little bit smaller. And again, we'll just put it on with a screw and just leave it loose so we can adjust it. The next thing we have is our mounting block for our limit switch. This guy goes right on these two poles on the, on the tailstock block. If it's bottoming out on the base, when you have it in one, one orientation, you can flip it over and do the other orientation, but it should, should line up without, uh, without bottoming it out on the base. Again, we put the two 832 screws in. Get them both started, and then just snug them down. That's good. Let's do 
goods. Now on, on this one, we have the bracket, which goes on this way. We have the limit switch, which is going to be mounted on the inside. And this one has, this one has two self-threading machine screws that go into our bracket on the back side. What I do with these to make it easier is first I actually take each of the screws with the screwdriver and actually thread them into this bracket piece first so the assembly process is easier. So you just thread both of the holes that are in this with the self-threading screw first. And what you're going to do is put your limit switch on, goes on the inside. And put your backing piece on. Just get one started. And then we get the other screw. And we get the other screw started. Now on this one, it has two long slots on it, so you can adjust your limit switch back and forth a bit. And I put it towards the back for starts. And if we have to adjust it a little bit forward, we will, but we probably won't have to. Again, these are this is a plastic housing, so for these this guy here will just go snug on both of these. And there's no real force on this. And then we're going to mount, take the bracket and actually mount it onto the tailstock end. You want to have your wires going down on the inside and below. And then you take your two screws and there's two holes right here for these guys. Again, get them started. Once they're in, just square up your bracket and tighten them down. Again, just finger tight is good and your <clears throat> wire should not bind anywhere. Now we're going to do the same thing we did on the cross slide, bring it back. On this one, you have your oiler and your gib, you can only get so close to the tailstock. So that's basically where your interference is going to happen. It's not going to be the lathe saddle to the base mount, but we're going to get as close as we can to that when we set our limit switch to give you the most travel. You're getting pretty close there. Right there, my gib is actually hitting the tailstock base, so we're going to have to shift the limit switch forward. So let's go and click there. All right, and I'm going to have to take this off. Let's shift it forward. these up, work forward a bit. I'm just going to tighten one down for right now. That's 
and that worked out pretty good right there. So I can tighten down the other one. So when you set this up, your, your limit switch is gonna be pretty much all the way forward on the two slots. So that'll save you the, the readjust that I just had to do. Also on this, your, your trigger and your ball on your limit switch, the ball on the limit switch is out for ways. Once you get this tightened down, you can actually bend your bracket in a little bit to get it to align better. So I'm going to tighten it down. We have a bit of a bend here. I'm just move this out of the way. I don't want to hit the lathe saddle. Close it down a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing. I'm seeing where my gib is. Right there, the gib is hitting the tailstock, so I'm going to go one revolution. Then we're going to take. until it clicks. What I'm going to do is bend my arm just a hair. That's bent. Now I'll bring it back in and we should be good. There's the click, and I'm clearing my tailstock, so that's right on the edge. Winner. Let's try it again. Right there. All right, that's good. So again, you can. You can bend this slightly one way or the other, and you can also, what I did was I put my Allen wrench down here, and I bent the arm out just a hair, just to get my the ball on the arm a little bit further forward. So you can do some minor adjustments with both the limit switch and the brackets. So there you have it. That's the Z-axis and the X-axis, and they're both set. Thank you.